What's up, collective? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic-y ass clowns. Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine. This is going to be a reading. All about you. And what's going on with the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Now, you may be with your Divine Masculine or Feminine. Feminine? Feminine. You may um, not even know who they are. This is the energy. We're going to pull the energy of Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine that's aware that they're with their counterpart. Okay? So please keep in mind, this reading may trigger you. And it may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. Alright? Don't go jumping on your man. Don't go beating, you know, your baby daddy. Okay. So, Divine Feminine, you're feeling this card came out sideways. So, this makes me feel like somebody is feeling sideways if they're the main, the feminine energy in this reading. The Divine Feminine. You're feeling sideways. You may be feeling sideways if this is your true divine masculine, if this is your soulmate, um, if this is your twin flame. Is this a karmic partner or a karmic soulmate? You're kind of feeling sideways about that shit. Okay. So, collective, I'm I'm going to make this easy for me and you. I'm just going to pull the cards and get a full spread read. Okay. Instead of pulling and talking and pulling and talking and pulling and talking. Okay, again, keep in mind, this may or may not resonate with your energy. Divine Feminine out here. Now it could be a Divine Feminine. Damn. And, and, and it's like you, you, it's, it's, you're, you're feeling sideways about Christians or spirituality or religion. You're feeling sideways about it. So I, I will tell you the cards that I'm pulling. I have the energy of somebody being cut off. You can cut them off. Or they've cut you off. I see a marriage out here. And I see some paperwork or some sort of documents. I see some um, an ending. Somebody don't want and some somebody is not wanting something to end. It could be a divorce. Yeah, it's, it has to do with the divorce or uh, somebody could have proposed to somebody and they gave them their ring back. So it's, it's basically the energy of a divine feminine out here. You kind of feeling sideways when it comes to spirituality or religion, um, and your some people you may talk to about it, and some people you don't. Some people may make you believe if if it's a spiritual journey that um, it's wrong. They'll try to make you believe that it's against God the Most High. Is because they don't know what they're talking about and they haven't done their own research these people like this will you know after knowing that you know what your purpose is and what you're supposed to be doing you have demonic entities that will come into your life to try to sway you you know tell you all oh, that's wrong you shouldn't be doing that oh that's not God or God don't do this they don't know their damn self okay so, I 
also have the lovers out here. Somebody cut off their lovers. Um, and this masculine, this is divine feminine and divine masculine. So you were married to your masculine or you are married to your masculine. <clears throat> now this, this is not one person. I'm going to read this as many stories as I see, many uh, circumstances that's going on out here between the divine masculine and the divine feminine. But the overall energy, the first three cards out, is the divine feminine out here feeling sideways about a situation. So that could be the situation about your relationship. Um, it could be feeling sideways about... Um, your spirituality and religion but somebody somebody also out there was going on a trip you canceled a trip with somebody because you could have found out they was trying to manipulate you to go on a trip <coughs> I also see somebody um not concerned about a house because they spell work and their manipulation has went in reverse. And this could be a banker, a wealthy man, somebody who deals with a lot of money. Or this could be somebody who's saying they're wealthy. <coughs> <coughs> represent a wealthy man that's lying and saying he ain't got no money but he really do or this could be a man saying that he got a lot of money but he really don't okay this can also be someone who works with a lot, a lot of money they could be a long shark this is also when he's in reverse he's a narcissist okay Somebody who wants to control your money. Okay? And they're manipulative. And see, <coughs> right next to this wealthy man is the spell work. The manipulation. Okay? Some of you may need to... I keep looking the camera over here. You may need to... Um, Stop leaving your hair around this person. You see, you see that braid? Somebody, this person could have been physically abusing you. At the same time, they're making you stay in a relationship, trying to bond with you. This is a fucking narcissist that has a lot of money. And this is how he controls people with his money. He buy friends, he buy sex, he buy whatever he wants. He's basically a lazy motherfucker with money. And somebody is out here is a star. You're very creative. You need to stand out. You're supposed to be standing out. You're supposed to be shiny. But with this ring out here, somebody, um, maybe a celebrity is proposing something to you and you turned them down. Some of you may, you know, this person could be an Aquarius and they're turn, you turned them down. They could have proposed to you. This narcissist could be an Aquarius. And I have the energy of the house out here. And somebody didn't show no concern when it came to this house. And these are all on the same row, okay? They show no concern for this house where some, some the manipulation that they was doing towards this house it didn't work. This I have to look at the cards because it's the total opposite on this camera. A new camera my son bought me for a late Mother's Day present. But this this is spell work and manipulation. And this person had no concern. They showed no concern when it came to a house. Okay? 
they was not concerned about this house. They wasn't concerned because they thought that their manipulation tactics and their spell work was working. Okay? And this is an energy of an Aquarius. Okay? This person could have gave you some sort of proposal. I see the courtship out here in the courthouse. So, some of you in the distant horizon, this person, you could have been, you know, being intimate with them. Could have been, this could, this could be your lover. This could be a Gemini you're dealing with. But, because this person, you was in a relationship, you still turned them down if they offered, if they offered, uh, proposed to marry you. around you is wearing a false mask. So, it's a divine feminine out here. You're married and you just gave somebody their ring back. Okay? You cut them off. Now, this is this this is divine feminine's energy. You ain't showing no concern. You done. And you could have been the one wearing a false mask, pretending like you didn't want to be with this person, or I mean, pretending like you want to be with this person, but then all of a sudden you gave their ass the axe. And there's also the energy of somebody being false when it comes to a house situation and some delayed court papers that was coming, they're coming. I mean, that was delayed, they're coming. Okay. But somebody don't want to end some shit. Now, I don't know whose energy this could be, but somebody is, is confused. Somebody um, in this marriage is praying that it's not over in the near future. It's this narcissist. He don't want, he don't want something to end. thinking about you this 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 person is thinking of ways that they now remember the roles can be reversed okay the roles can be reversed I'm this the energy I'm reading so if if this matches with you or what you feel is like wow that sounds familiar then you know but it don't mean that the entire reading is going on what's going on with you okay somebody got is is two false people at the end, there's two false people. Somebody is wearing a mask, or whoever this false person is, they like to they like to party a lot. Whoever this this person that's wearing a mask, they may smoke. They could be a a, a Leo. They could be a Pisces. They could be a Capricorn. They could be an Aquarius. They could be a Gemini. They could be a Scorpio. Or you could be one of those signs. Okay. This, 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 um, wealthy man, other readers call him a divine masculine. This wealthy man right here, he, just because he got money, that don't mean that he's a divine masculine. It's karmics out there that got a bunch of money. This motherfucker is somebody who, who pays people not to like you. Pay people to follow you. Track you. Pay people to put tracking devices under your car. To watch when you go into the bank or what you got to do. They want to make sure everything you do that they know about it. This ain't no motherfucking divine masculine. This is an insecure ass motherfucker. I don't care how much money you got. Or she. Okay? And they do a lot of manipulate, manipulative shit.
And for those of you, you're dealing with a court situation or you're waiting on some courthouse papers concerning a house with somebody, with, with this divine masculine, if you was married to him, because um, he is not out here. The divine masculine is not out here. It's, it's, it's the divine feminine. Paperwork. You didn't serve them some papers. Divine feminine has served the divine masculine some papers. Divorce papers. If it was if it was wedding papers, um, if it was wedding papers, then he would be here. Unless this masculine passed away. Could be a Gemini or a Scorpio. Divine masculine. Somebody went on a trip. On a cruise. Somebody celebrated their divorce by going on a cruise with a partner. Mm -hmm. They they celebrated their their divorce. Now this this person, I feel like you've been going through this a long time and you didn't met somebody else. And you was just waiting for your divorce papers. And you received them. And somebody took a cruise with their new boo. That new boo could be an Aquarius energy for some of y'all. Okay? That new boo could be a Scorpio. And when you went on this cruise, it was a storm. If it was on a boat, it was some rough waters. <laughs> That's why I ain't going on. I don't. I don't get on that. I don't go on none of that fucking shit. I'm not getting on no airplane. I'm not getting on no big ass cruise ship. No. Have you ever paid attention when you was little? How much water in the tub when you put a, a boat in the tub? How much water? Just imagine a big ass ocean and you on a cruise ship. You like a little ant. You get lost. That boat. Yeah. Mm mm. But somebody, um, you went on a cruise, you was praying on, <laughs> they, somebody was on a cruise and they, they're, uh, that it, it was a storm. Now, if it wasn't a literal storm, you went on a cruise with somebody after you signed the divorce papers and, and you celebrated and then you and your new person got into an argument or something on this cruise. Now that's for somebody, but it's not for everybody. And somebody was on a cruise and you were so scared. You guys was, you know, being intimate and the boat started rocking. You was with this narcissist. Now this could also mean that with this, this ship out here, it could be a relationship that's not over. Um, you're, you're, you're moving forward in a situation. Floating over things. Mm -hmm. You could be releasing some energies. And and you had a, a situation with this court shit, right? You was dealing with somebody that didn't want you to get whatever it was that you're supposed to get when it comes to a house situation. They didn't want something to be over for you. And they was doing some sort of spell work or manipulation. And for some of you, that's the heart of your energy. Some, some delayed paperwork is now being released. It's coming. 
the spell work and the manipulation that was done. Okay, this could be going on in your marriage. Okay, your person could just finally sign the papers you went to celebrate. Got into an argument with your new person. Oh, no, the new person is a narcissist. The new person is... is <coughs> if this reading is resonating with you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Girl Talk and the Butterfly. So some of you divine feminines, you are, you are, um, hanging out with your friend. That's why this masculine, this divine masculine ain't showing up. I gotta see what a masculine at. What is he doing during this divorce? I don't want to mix them up no more because I'm. this is how they was left. So I'm just trying to find out where, where divine masculine is at and what's around him right now. I see your karmic energy, your ex, he ain't saying nothing. Where are you, divine masculine? Oh, here he is. <coughs> Acting immature. This divine masculine right here. Divine masculine is sitting in the kitchen looking where you used to be in there cooking, divine feminine. But he's acting very immature right now. Mm -hmm. Something has been illuminated to him. He didn't found out some shit or he sees some shit. He's happy. Some secrets. He's sick and not telling you. Now, he could be mentally sick, physically sick, um, spiritually sick, but he ain't going to change. This masculine is being demoted. Yep, he's losing his gift. Toiling labor. Taking a risk or a gamble. Some, a message or a letter. Something with a job. Somebody is you're about to receive. Uh, if you if you uh, if somebody stole something from you while you was at work, divine feminine, and some of you could be dancers. Somebody could have stole something from you uh, while you was dancing. You caught them. Strippers. I don't think of divine feminine. You caught somebody. This this could represent a uh, um, somebody bringing you some news. Okay, and this could also represent you working on yourself, um, choosing you for once, putting yourself first with that number one out there. You come first. Okay. And you're working on it. Self-improvement. And this could also mean that you're not allowing no one to steal from you no more. You caught somebody steal something, stealing from your house. Something to do with a house being stolen, but they didn't go to prison. But they're not getting no great fortune, and they didn't expect this. This is karma for them. Mm -hmm. And you're about to receive a message about it. Mm -hmm. About some money. And there's a lot of chaos and conflict. God damn. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. 
So Divine Feminine, I'm not shuffling these no more so I can show you what I'm talking about. Here's the court at the bottom. Okay. Chaos and conflict in the court. Right here. They got to give you some unexpected income. Now when I say unexpected income, this is going to be some money that's going to be coming to you on a regular basis. That you're not going to expect. But it's coming. Okay. <clears throat> Judgment. You're about to receive a letter about it. You're receiving good karma. The person who stole from you, they didn't expect this, okay? They're not about to get no great fortune. Mm -mm. They may not have to go to prison, or they may be just getting out of prison. You ain't in no prison. Okay, they got caught, and then we come to this house. They stole a house from you, Okay? You got proof that you worked and everything on that house. These people took a risk or a gamble. And you're about to receive the news or the letter about it. That you put in the toil and labor. Maybe it's been discovered in the courts. And now this person is going to want to spend time with you. Because you're having all this good luck. And it was an unwise decision for them to do this to you. They can't keep you trapped or confined in a situation no more. They was not holding you in high honor when it came to this home situation or this, this marriage. And you truly love this person, okay? You thought the relationship was going somewhere with them. But as soon as you stop allowing this person to use you, your blessings came through. Thank you, spirit. Mm-hmm. Now this person is searching for you, or this could be some of you, you may be getting a proposal and you may be looking, searching for a, a place to have your wedding at, moving forward, ain't telling nobody in your community, they saying you're, you're not talking to your community, the people, this could be your family, um, you know, people and the things that you do in life, neighborhood, saying you acting immature but they're the ones acting childish here's the universe right here and your ex is mad and he ain't saying nothing your family ain't talking poverty out here and it's secrets somebody is secretly in poverty themselves and they're not telling you. okay mm -hmm. they losing money yep it's not a Scorpio Scorpio energy to death, somebody don't want something to come to an end. Yeah, they somebody don't want you know the collective to, to have growth and stability. It's somebody's ex out here, feminine, she's um, quiet, but she's trying to create some sort of blockages, she's gossiping, and it's the energy. Somebody just don't have the strength to deal with this shit no more. they saying they're not giving nobody no more of their time. I see this is a wise decision. Somebody's getting up early in the morning doing something. And here's a fiery bridge that somebody didn't want to cross because they was unofficial. They blocked you from going down the correct pathway. Some of you are supposed to be traveling, supposed to be doing things, but there was somebody in your life or up in your relationship that was being sneaky. Okay. And here's the divine feminine. Looking at her main man. Now, this main man could be a brother, okay? Um, being sneaky. Now, this could be an ex or somebody you was fooling with, divine, divine feminine, feminine, and then, or this could also be a uh, somebody who works in a home. This person is standing in your home. This could be a child's father of yours that you're not letting the ch him see the child anymore, okay? Here's the, the here's me back at the divine feminine. I mean the divine masculine. Acting immature. But he missing you. Missing your cooking. About the secrets. But he ain't gonna change. And he's losing his gift. So he's a divine masculine that's losing his gift. Okay. He ain't even like in the board. I had to go look for him.
So what you doing now, Divine Feminine, you are, you are, um, you're spreading your wings. And you're hanging with your girls. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you guys, um, this reading gave you some sort of clarity. If it did, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next read. No way. And if you want to, um, a one question, personal read, $11.11. For two questions, $22.22. .22. Inbox me. The information to my email is in the description box below, along with my PayPal my cash app also at the top of this channel All right